a period of 10 years, we went from uh, a company that was doing seven, eight million dollar a year to a company that was doing, you know, 80, 100 million dollar a year and building complete tur turnkeys. Yeah, I'm Simon Potvin. I'm, uh, I'm the CEO of uh, Comat and uh, I've been with that company for 35 years, you know, right out of school. Uh, the history of Comac is uh, 100 year. Last year, we celebrated the 100 year anniversary of our company last year. And it started in Beauce in Quebec as a, a small company. Let's say for the last 30, 35 years, you know, grew into a, a major wood product equipment manufacturer and supplier in the industry. As you probably know, we're we're offering the whole the whole mill. You know, we're we're building turnkey mills, and for us to be able to do that, we we absolutely need to keep our technologies in all across the sawmill. We need to keep it, you know, to be on top tier of the technology that's out there. So it's been driving us uh, for the last 25, 30 years uh, to, to be up there and to have these technologies so that that offer that we have uh, stay as a valuable offer for our customers. So 1991, Comac is a, is a small company in, uh, in St. George de Beauce, Quebec. It has 60 employees at the time, and it's get, uh, the Benoit Allard, the group Benoit Allard bought the company there. And Benoit Allard was a construction company in Quebec. He was already building some sawmills. He was doing most of the, the, the handling equipment, substeel and stuff like that, but he didn't have any equipment. Really, you know, the breakdown equipment and technology. So he bought us. Right after that, he bought Dennis Sawmill in Montreal, which came with Multimec, which was a scanning and control company. And it's the first first time in, in, our, in the history, I would say, of sawmilling, where someone could come up with a complete offer of sawmills. So we did, we did build some turnkey sawmills in the 90s, but uh, on a period of 10 years, we went from uh, a company that was doing seven, eight million dollar a year to a company that was doing you know, 80, 100 million dollar a year and building complete tur turnkeys. Then came uh, a bit of history in the start of 2000. We got into the US, we got into uh, British Columbia with BID. You know, we bought BID in, in uh, the start of 2000. We bought uh, high tech engineering in Arkansas as well in 2002. And this is what it was the first time that uh, Comac was getting out, really getting out of Quebec in North America, getting in other markets. And over the years, we, we, we did put the brand out there. And in 2013, uh, BID, that was part of us at one time, you know, came and bought Comact. And the strategy there was to, um, to uh, offer the turnkey in the South US. You know, really seeing the opportunity, there was a lot of wood, a lot of logs available there. And uh, again, same strategy, first to offer a complete turnkey in the south, that was done. And again, over a period of 10 years, that company was multiplied by 10 again. We first worked on making sure that we are the good people and we, we keep them. You know, we keep them, created a culture where employees want to be part of it. They want to have fun, they want to be part of what we do. And then just go after the best people all over the place, the best we can find. You know, I like to tell people that uh, we're, uh, you know, when I started in the business, it was, uh, it used to take five to 5.5 cubic meter of wood to, pr to produce a thousand board foot of lumber. And it was 1990, 91. Today, we're doing the same thousand board feet with 3.3, 3.2 cubic meters of wood. So, so that's, that's a lot of sustainability in my mind. And, and it's been, uh, it's, it's on top of what we do all the time you know, saving that fiber to, 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 to a maximum so that our customers first have a better return, but as well that, that the fiber, the trees are used properly uh, in the industry. I'm very uh, privileged, I would say, and confident about our future. We got a very strong management team. You know, I'm, 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 I'm not going anywhere for a few years and, and I got a, a team that's working with me that's uh, in, the, in the 40s and, and low 50s. So we're there for the long run uh, on this side. Uh, and again, I think we have a very good, good group of people. Uh, the technology, the AI, everything we're doing in robotics, you know, we're doing a bunch of stuff in the IoT as well, just to transform. It's the next phase in the industry where 
You know, everything mechanically is good, the controls is there, but that next level of bringing the mill to the another level, this is really what we're, we're aiming for today. Uh, we call that the mill of the future, and, and we've been working a lot on this, and it's, it's a topic that, that we talk every week. So that's one part. The other part is probably going outside of North America a little bit. You know, bringing what we do in, in other parts of the world, and, and it's something you're going to see us doing in the next few years for sure. Well, I think it's, uh, we just scratched the surface of this. I absolutely think that. You know, we're, we're using it. We, 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 we've used it to fix issues that we had first. We were not even thinking about uh, business opportunity. We were, taught, we were thinking about, you know, getting the performance on some type of equipment that our customer had and had issue with. So that's where the opportunity came with AI first. You know, on the vision side, some recognition of, of tough, uh, tough defects on, on lumber and, and stuff like that. But uh, on, all, on the overall process of a mill, for me, the, the, it's, it's, we're just, we just scratch the surface. And I'm talking externally on, on the sawmill side, but as well as internally in our operations and everything we do from the software side, the programming and our own operations. There's, there's lots of opportunity there that we haven't touched yet. Just because uh, you're gonna, first you're gonna be in, a, in an industry that's innovative. You know, if you're an engineer, uh, you know, you can have an idea today work on the design of it and, and go and see it run six months from now, which is not uh, typical to a lot of industry. And you know, I've, there, there's a lot of people that would work for 20 years and you know, on, in an industry before they can even you know, have an effect of, on the end product. So, so it's really an industry that's, very, that's moving a lot. It's a project business. Uh, people, our people are traveling across the world, around the world. Uh, they're going out there and, and they're having fun doing it. We're touching each technology, every technology. We're at the top edge of everything that's out there. You know, on the mechanical side, on the optimization, the vision, the AI, uh, the controls, the IoT. If it's there, if there's a potential there, we're there, we're, we're in that, that business. So yeah, that's, that's a good reason for me. I think because of these things, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity to come in our business and then, and then develop yourself as a, as a graduate in engineering or whatever. Yeah, so if you want to contact us, you know, you can find us on LinkedIn and all of our social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, on the internet at uh, comac.com. So feel free to come to us.